Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day is off to a fantastic start. Um, I want to assure you that I am not jaundiced. <laughs> I was sitting down to film this video and I am in the front living room of our house where I typically film. I had to move back just a little bit because uh, we do have the Christmas tree set up in here now. So, um, however, this tree blocks the window where I get most of my natural lighting. So I decided to turn the lights on and um, the warm glow of the lights is unfortunately making me look very yellow. I can assure you that I'm not ill. <laughs> so you guys, I am uh, so excited about today's video because this is part two of a video that I shared last week. Um, if you will recall, or if you missed it, I will put it in the description box down below. But I shared my favorite holiday tree fragrances from Kringle Candle. And in that video, I mentioned that I wanted to do a part two where I share some of my favorite holiday fragrances from some other brands. So I have that to share with you today. As always, I will put links to all of these candles in the description box down below. I will try to find them where they are currently on sale if, if they happen to be on sale anywhere. So um, also, if you are shopping any of the Homeworks candles from their website, I do have a discount code with them. Um, that'll save you 15% off your order. I will put that information in the description box down below. But I have a number of brands here to share with you guys. I have Nest, I have Lafco, I have Bath & Body Works, I have Velispa, I have Homeworks. Uh, Bath and Body Works. So um, yeah, that's that's what we're doing today. I hope you guys are getting into the holiday spirit. I know I am. I have been decorating for the holidays for the last couple of weeks. You might still be seeing some stuff behind me here. I have been filming my holiday decorate with me series. By the way, that is going up starting on Sunday of next week, which by the way, next week is already Thanksgiving. Holy cow, how are we this far into November? It's blowing my mind. Um, so if you are interested in following me along, uh, following along with me on my uh, Christmas decorating journey this year, uh, those videos will be going up um, next week. So hopefully you're subscribed. Those should pop up in your subscription feed. On Sunday, I'm kicking it off with a like decorating tips and tricks suggestions type video. So um, I know a lot of you are not going to be putting up your holiday decor until after Thanksgiving. So hopefully that is a little bit more timely for this uh, for this year. Last year, I think I waited a little bit too long to put those videos up. But anyway, you guys, let's get into it. Uh, like I said, be sure to check the links in the description box on where to purchase any of the fragrances that I'm going to be suggesting. All right, so we are kicking it off with a new favorite of mine. And uh, I am going to tell you guys right now that I did end up purchasing the hearth or five wick size of this bad boy here because I found it for 25% off and um, I believe that sale is still happening. And then uh, Bloomingdale's was actually 11% uh, cash back on Rakuten on the day that I made that purchase. So I got another $20 off of that purchase. I am so excited to get this candle. As soon as I have my hands on it, I will be showing it in my weekly home fragrance roundup. So don't you worry. But uh, Velispa Noble Fur Garland is a new staple in my collection as far as I'm concerned. They, they cannot do away with this fragrance. It is just pure authentic holiday tree. If you have fake trees in your house, you need this. It is going to give you the effect of having a real tree in terms of like the fragrance part. Um, but you don't have the mess of the real tree, right? Like th this is why I love fake trees. I am the person in our household that does most of the tidying up. I don't know, my roommates, my husband and my kid, they are not, uh, they're not quite as clean as I am. So um, yeah, for me, I kind of veto the real tree because while those two would love a real tree, they're not willing to clean up after a real tree. So we're not doing those. Um, anyway, if you want the effect of a real tree in terms of the fragrance part, get this. It is so beautiful. Also, 
I am a sucker for candle vessels. Um, I don't care what people say. I think the presentation of a candle is just as important as the ambiance and the fragrance, and you are getting nothing but presentation when it comes to Veluspa. These guys know beautiful vessels, and this one is no exception. Look at how stunning this jar is. First of all, the shade of green is perfect, but these little like shells or fans are kind of embossed into the glass and then you have these little gold accents throughout. I just think this is so stunning. I, I don't think I've ever seen a prettier vessel. Well, a lot of the Velispa uh, vessels are really pretty, but I think this one is just exceptionally beautiful. And as someone who is entering her love of green era, this one just spoke to me this year. She's a must try. All right, I have two suggestions from Bath & Body Works, which should be available. I think this one is only available currently in a one wick, but it may be coming out in the three wick. So Bath & Body Works. We all know we have a Bath & Body Works probably within 10 miles of our house, right? So these candles uh, are usually on sale. <laughs> I don't know anyone that buys these when they're not on sale and most of us also require a coupon so um while i don't think bath and body works has the best performing candles these days i still think they have some really great staples and my two suggestions would definitely be vanilla balsam obviously this is from a previous year here um i don't love this packaging it's a little kitschy but i can just put it in a candle sleeve and that'll make that go away um honestly my favorite packaging from bath and body works is their core collection where they just have you know these kind of simple jars with these okay why are you not focusing you don't want to focus no <laughs> with these really simple but you know elegant labels this is marshmallow fireside obviously um both of these to me are must-haves every holiday season marshmallow fireside is that classic sweet smoky marshmallow fragrance that we all know and love um it's a staple i will never be without it and um, i'm actually looking forward to lighting this one up tonight for the first time and then vanilla balsam. This is basically balsam and a really beautiful, sweet gourmand vanilla, almost like a vanilla frosting. It's heavenly. If you've never tried this one, you must. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the like original balsam from Bath and Body Works. I feel like it's a little, I feel like it's a little aggressive, a little harsh. But man, when they popped some vanilla into it, it made this so freaking enjoyable and beautiful. I love this one. And I think this is a must-have duo from, um, from Bath & Body Works. So, all right. Next, we are going to hop on to the Nest Train. So, my Nest duo for many, many years has been Nest Holiday and Birchwood Pine. I require them to be together as as a pair, as a couple, as a duo, if you will. Um, when I light up one, I immediately light up the other. That's why you can tell that these two are burning at the, uh, they're burned to the exact same level because they always are, they're always together. Um, Nest Holiday is uh, such a sophisticated, um, I call it my fancy lady scent. Um, this has cranberry, this has citrus, this has a beautiful holiday tree note. This has a touch of like the holiday spices. It just is pure, sophisticated fancy lady. And while I'm actually not the fanciest lady, um, I like to pretend. <laughs> and this here, you guys, is just pure heaven. When I when I light this bad boy up, it just immediately makes me feel like I'm living in a townhouse in New York City. I don't I don't know. I don't really know the names of the streets. Uh, Fifth Avenue. That sounds like sounds like a street in New York. City. I've I've been to I've been to New York City, but I didn't really pay attention to the street names. <laughs> I, I figured out when we were in Times Square because that looked familiar from the TV. But everything else, I was like, this is so overwhelming. Um, I really admire people that live in New York City. I just, I couldn't imagine like the rush and just the stress of the lifestyle. It just, it's not for me, but I would love to live in a New York townhouse at some point. Uh, it's not gonna happen. 
it's not in my budget, but this can make me feel like I am one of those fancy ladies. Now, the birchwood pine, which again, always it gets paired with holiday. This is just a straight up fresh cut tree scent. Um, it's so good. It's, it's pure, it's authentic, it's straightforward, it's a great performer. Um, and for me, the go-to vessel when it comes to nest candles is definitely their one wicks. I don't have the best luck with the three wicks. Honestly, they get kind of dirty on me. And I, I know that I'm using like good practices when it comes to, or like best practices, I guess you could say, when it comes to burning the candles. But for whatever reason, I just really struggle with getting them to burn properly after the halfway point. I don't know if there's just some magic tip or trick that I don't know anything about <laughs> that I haven't incorporated quite yet, but I've been burning candles for years and the three wicks always just kind of get gross on me, but the one wicks are the way to go. I actually purchased this duo this year from um, Sephora. They have it in a boxed set together for a decent price point. Um, these are 48 bucks each, so they're a little bit of a splurge, but each holiday season I purchase both because they're beautiful. And I love them and they're just that probably those would be my signature holiday fragrances at this point I think I'm gonna give it to that duo all right you guys let's discuss homeworks I have two suggestions for you from homeworks and it's going to be harvest leaves and I know this is technically a fall fragrance however this has cranberry in it and I love cranberry throughout the holiday season um, Actually, these two uh, are a really great combo together, the Holiday and the Harvest Leaves. If you've never burned both of these together, they really complement each other nicely. Um, they're both slack pin fragrances, so maybe that makes sense. But um, this has spiced pumpkin, mandarin, cranberry, fir balsam, and applewood. So you are getting a holiday tree note in here as well, or Christmas tree note, if you will. Um, I will sometimes actually just peel because these are just sh these labels are shrink wrapped on here so sometimes I will just score this all the way down and then peel off the label because the wax is red so it's festive for the holidays and then I'll just pop it onto one of my homeworks pedestals and um, yeah this is just a really lovely continuation from the fall basically and then if you can find it I'm I think it might be available at QVC again don't quote me on that but I know people have been finding this at Marshall's Home Goods TJ Maxx um, but if you can get your hands on the cranberry wreath you need it once again I love cranberry during Christmas this one here is iced cranberries, fir needle, fresh balsam, and musk. So you can see why this one is making the cut again. This is cranberry and tree. This one is a really tart, slightly sweet cranberry mixed with the balsam and the fir. Oh, it's just such a beautiful combination. It is fresh. It is authentic. It's juicy with that cranberry note and it's just it's so yummy I love this one I'm telling you right now if you can get this into your house for this holiday season you're gonna love it it's beautiful and these two together are a really great combination as well so um, yeah I do I do love the label on this one this one definitely has a holiday label so I'll leave the label on this one but yeah the harvest leaves just peel the label off <laughs> All right, these next two suggestions are from Lafco. And here's here's my thing with Lafco. I really love their scents. Um, in fact, one of these I have not even reviewed yet. Um, yeah, I need to do that. Um, but, uh, or at least an in-depth review, so you'll see that coming. But um, yeah, here's the thing. I love their vessels. I think the vessels are absolutely stunning and they are definitely what makes uh, purchasing the Lafco candles worth it for me. Um, the strength and throw is a little bit more subdued. Um, they're not unscented, but they're the type of fragrances that are a little bit more subtle in their presentation. So those of you that like the, you know, smack you in the face fragrances, um, you know, you're definitely going to get a little bit more of that effect from Bath and Body Works, from um, certain nest fragrances. But Lafco tends to be a more subtle approach, but I, it works because I will just light these alongside usually some other fragrances that complement them. 
and it's beautiful. So um, if you are willing to splurge on these candles, you, you're, I think you're really going to enjoy them. And um, I'm really glad they brought these scents back. So this is the Hazelnut Tarone. I actually ended up purchasing another one of these after I reviewed it last year, even though I mentioned that the strength and throw, you know, wasn't the best. But it's the vessels, right? Um, this one here, um, I don't know what the deal is with this one, but I, it's just wax, but there's like some wax chunks on the outside of this one. So anyway, I will clean that up. But look at this vessel, you guys. Isn't it stunning? Um, the one that I burned last year is actually upstairs in my other filming room, and I store makeup brushes in it. This is thick, beautiful, hand-blown glass. And I mean, Veluspa definitely has some beautiful vessels, but if you're looking for something a little bit more simple and elegant, I feel like this is definitely a great option for you vessel-wise. But look at that iridescent finish on there. Isn't it pretty? Uh, and this hazelnut Tarone just smells so good. It really does smell like the real thing. Um, this is honey, hazelnut, and vanilla. It just is so beautiful. It's not necessarily only a holiday fragrance, I feel like, um, but actually I'm not even gonna put this back in the box because you know what? Both of these candles are gonna stay downstairs and we're gonna burn them. So <laughs> we're gonna enjoy these this year. Um, but yeah, the, that is absolutely delicious. It smells like hazelnut Tarone. Um, you have that nougat-y like filling it just it's heaven trust me trust me even if you just get like a little one you have to smell it it's so good and this one here i didn't review last year um but i i will review it this year i burned one and then never reviewed that one but i did purchase another one so this is the lafco spiced pomander you guys know I'm a sucker for pomander fragrances. And if you're going to ask me about my Kringle release, you guys, I don't have a date yet. I uh, I actually just reached out to Kringle again to see if they can give me an update that I can share with you guys. I'm really hoping that it's soon, but also I, I don't know. Um, this is a little bit of like, I would say like a side project for Kringle. So um, yeah, it's... I will let you guys know as soon as it's ready to go. I promise. I, I hope that it's soon. My fingers are crossed. But anyway, as far as like spiced pomander scents, this one is fantastic, you guys. This has that beautiful, bright, juicy orange, a rich clove that's not overly aggressive. And um, they also say there's cinnamon in here. But you know what, when I burned this last year and smelling it on cold sniff again now, I really don't get much in the way of cinnamon. It's mostly just the fresh orange and that beautiful clove note. The clove is not overly aggressive um, and the citrus is really bright and juicy. So, and again, it's it's the vessel for me. Look at this, It's she is iridescent perfection. Look at her, Ugh, I love it. Um, so yeah. Mm, it's so good you guys it's it's really really beautiful i found this one to be quite a decent performer i actually found this one to be a little bit stronger than the hazelnut tarone but that being mm -hmm. said i think these are a little bit more subtle in their approach and also they're a one wick so just keep that in mind i don't want anyone to be disappointed um but i think that they are beautiful fragrances that definitely deserve a chance if you are willing to give them one anyway you guys those are my suggestions uh for this part two of this video um i certainly could have suggested like 55 more fragrances for you from different companies because there's a lot that i love during the holidays in terms of home fragrance but i tried to limit it just a little bit for this video here today please let us know what your must have Christmas or holiday fragrances are in the comments down below. Don't forget to check the subscription box for links on where to find all this stuff. I appreciate you guys being here. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.